In the polished world of suits, the relationship between courthouse legend Harvey Specter and his assistant turned COO Donna Paulson is one for the history books. Spoiler alert ahead, but who didn't shed a few tears at their wedding in the series finale? They were the fans' ultimate ship in OTP before we even knew what a one true pairing was. Believe it or not, but the couple, affectionately dubbed as Darvey, works so well because the actors themselves, Gabriel Macht and Sarah Rafferty, share nearly the same meaningful relationship in real life. In fact, they've been best friends for over 28 years. Today we're going to be taking a look at Darvey, Gabriel Macht and Sarah Rafferty's deep friendship. It all starts at a theater festival, the 1993 Williamstown Theater Festival to be exact. That's where Gabriel Macht and Sarah Rafferty first met. And from there on out, it was a best friend match made in heaven. They went on not just to become friends, but now even their kids are best friends. They have been at each other's weddings, they have shared houses, and they have made each other laugh in nearly every scene. On Suits, barely an episode goes by without Donna, A. Saving the day, or B. Wisely guiding Harvey to go where he needs to go, and C. Having a quick-witted remark for every occasion. But in real life, it's kind of the other way around. It was Mock who saved Rafferty's day, or should we say career. They were already friends by the time Mock landed the role of a lifetime, him signing on with the USA Network show being announced in 2011, but the show had yet to cast the iconic role of Donna Paulson. It was Gabriel who gave me the script, Sarah Rafferty later explained in an interview. Mock had recognized both Rafferty's talent and the show's potential. Rafferty went on to say how much this meant to her, as she had done a pilot, and she was waiting for news on whether it was going to get picked up, and it wasn't. The same day she got that news, she saw Gabriel and told him. He said, great, you need to read this script tomorrow. At the time, all the circumstances were against her. She was in Los Angeles, and the suit's auditions were in New York City. However, the two took a chance and put her audition on a tape. The rest, they say it's history. While Suits takes place in New York, they actually had to film it in Toronto, Canada. As a result, the cast had to uproot their lives and struggle to find a place to stay. For some time, Gabriel Mock lived in the house of his co-star Patrick J. Adams, who plays Mike Ross. After about two weeks of sleeping in Adams' old high school bedroom, an experience Mock describes as hilarious, he found a house for him and Rafferty to move into. They went on to live together for the entire season. Toronto was also where they hosted gatherings with the entire cast, had Easter together, had cast dinner, and gathered all their families together. If you've kept up with Mocked on Instagram over the years, you would know that he's the king of dad jokes, but on set, it was Rafferty who often made him crack up. Filming a scene with her was always a challenge, according to him who said, it is very hard to act with one of your best pals. But with that said, it's a lot of fun. We constantly say to each other, don't make me laugh, don't make me laugh, stop, stop, don't stop. It's very hard. As for Sarah Rafferty, she says their real life friendship has been a serious asset on set, laughing fits while filming scenes aside. Their deep relationship and familiarity with each other are part of why the show and their dynamic worked so well, especially in the early days. To quote Rafferty, we had a comfort level with each other. You were able to sense that Donna and Harvey had history together because we did. Sometimes it's a little bit awkward when you're just meeting someone on the first day to have that kind of camaraderie. After Suits' nine season run came to an end, when it was time to say goodbye to their character, their beloved set, and to seeing each other each day, the two of them were a wreck. Rafferty and Mocked were actually the last two to wrap up, so that meant before they had to bid farewell to each other every day, they had to say goodbye to another member of their cast family. Mike said he tried his hardest not to look at Sarah because he knew that every time he did, she would be crying with tissues in hand. And when the filming was all done, Mike reported that one of the first things he did was look at Sarah as he let the show's ending sink in. If you want to get to the root of any friendship and find out how meaningful it is, all you have to do is venture into Instagram, and Gabriel Mocked and Sarah Rafferty do not disappoint. They're always quick to post pictures of each other and posing together. It's the birthday posts that are the mark of a true, deep friendship. In December 2018, one post had Mocked writing alongside an adorable collection of pictures. 
Sending you all my best wishes to you and yours on your 87th birthday. At Sarah Grafferty. Happy birthday, Snacks. To which Rafferty replied, Looking forward to next 87 with you and yours. I'll love you even more, my brother, when you're toothless and I can turn off my miracle ear. For his birthday in 2018, Rafferty posted, I swear I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you. Ever grateful for 24 hours and counting of unpressable shared giggles. XOXOX. In 2016, Gabriel posted what he says is an audition for Sarah Rafferty's birthday song, where he sings an adorable made-up song. In response, Rafferty posted the video on her own account and captioned it, Thank you, Gabriel, for 22 consecutive birthday songs. Pretty sure the first few were on answering machines with assets tapes. Today you brought it to a whole new level. And that's a wrap. What did you think of the deep friendship between Gabriel Macht and Sarah Rafferty? Are you a Darby shipper? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Celeb Space, and turn on notifications.